Welcome one and welcome all, ladies and gents. We are live at our Lady of the Rosary Church Function Hall. This is RWA's Cash is King. Fellow Renegades, my name is Bobby Rossi. I will be one of your narratives for all this evening. I am being joined alongside Coach C. Coach, thank you for joining me on the commentary booth this afternoon. It is a pleasure to be here, but I don't think there's any other way to start this show off than with Mike Montero and Jason Devine taking on your RWA Tag Team Champions of the Losers. I mean, I'll tell you, man, you're talking about two teams that it, it, on opposite ends of the wrestling spectrum have built themselves up each to a new height. The losers have been white hot here in the RWA. The DCMC is... Oh, it, it, it just goes to show you, like, the, you know, the, the DCMC is a championship caliber stable. But they don't, they don't play by the rules. They've been marching to the beat of their own drum since day one, but it seems to be paying off. Because they're not, they're not just got themselves in championship contention here. They've got themselves quite a few straps elsewhere, coach. And these guys, the tag team champions, the losers, have been a team that has proved themselves definitely in the RWA. I mean, in December, Tom Billington, and it wasn't with Sean Leader, but it was with Dick Lane. And as I was saying, in, in back in December, RWA goes Broadway. It wasn't with Dick Lane, but Tom Billington teamed with the returning Dick Lane, and they were able to defeat a group of DCMC members. So these guys have clashed over the past few years, but with a potential championship match on the line, I think DCMC is going to try even harder. I think DCMC is going to do what they typically do, Coach. I think they're going to play the numbers game. I think they're going to do everything they can to keep the losers' heads on a swivel, do everything they can to disorient and confuse them. That's what I believe. In a championship, championship up for grabs, a potential shot at the belt, all bets are off. And it, before you know it, a year is going to be coming up with the losers as the RWA Tag Team Champions. Back at Legacy, and I believe it was May, they won against Mike Montero and AJP. How things come full circle. What is this? Wow. Tom Billington and Sean Leader have walked into this match with such an air of confidence.
Now this changes. Oh, whoa. This is what we talk about, Bobby Rossi. DCMC is using a numbers game right now. <laughs> look, man, look, this is what they do. This is how they've gotten to where they are. They're the thorn in any tag team's side. Now, wait a minute. That Jason Devine is going to the outside. Baby Souza after briefly checking in on Sean Leader assumes that these guys are still good to go. Look, the losers don't, they don't respond to pain the same way the average person does. And they certainly don't back away from a challenge that they laid out themselves. And now this changes the game completely. Now that is for the RWA Tag Team Champions. Mike Montero is a former five-time RWA Tag Team Champion. He's held the title with five different other people. If he wins with Jamie Tucker, this will mark his sixth RWA Tag Team Champion. And not to mention, this will be Jamie's first title since joining DCMC. Now the losers, the losers aren't the type to really do their homework. I mean, you, you, you could say that they really do march to the beat of their own drum themselves. So switching it up on the DCMC, hey, they might have tried to put, you know, too much pressure on them early. And it looks as if that could be backfired. But the losers aren't so many people that back down from any challenge. I mean, Tom Billington, if you don't recall, the last month just won the Renegade Rumble about here, obviously. And now, he, now he's defending his RWA Tag Team Championships just like that. And the losers were the ones to make the challenge, not the competitors. Big up and over by Mike Montero. Tandem offense by both he and Jamie Tucker. And Sean Leader isn't somebody too to not mess around with the former RWA Triple Crown Champion. And like we mentioned, the losers, I think, this year has been all about them. They've been the best tag team in the RWA. They certainly had the most momentum out of any of the teams. The DCMC have made their luck. You know, I'm not saying that they haven't worked at it, but they've broken and bent just about any and every rule that stood in their way. The losers, I mean, there's something admirable about them. They're not cheaters, they're not swindlers. You know, they're just not the most, I don't know, hygienic? <laughs> Say, look, look at Montero strangulating Sean Leader on that middle rope. Once again, like you mentioned, DCMC has the numbers to their fit. Oh, come on. This is what they do. This is who they are. They're it, not going to take no for an answer, coach. But Jamie Tucker is trying to prove himself to show. His first championship match since joining DCMC, and this could be his first title with DMC, with the leader of DCMC, Mike Montero. Jamie Tucker's certainly a little empty in the championship department. Could be just a matter of time before he turns that around, but Mike Montero is turning it up with a big clubbing blow to Sean Leader's back. Leader now turns it around the the velocity of Mike Montero spun into a 360 rotation tilt a world backbreaker. This could be the opening that the losers needed because let's face it, DCMC have continued to run rough shot on these guys. And like you, Tom Billington is somebody, he wants that tag in right now. A four, the current Renegade Rumble winner, he wants in, but like you said, DCMC, they took advantage of this match. The losers were preparing for Mike Montero and Jason Devine. And not even to mention the fact that they attacked him before the match. Oh, look at this, Montero and, and Tucker now going for a double superplex. Sean Leader fighting his way to freedom in somewhat of a precarious position now. Tom Billington's on his feet. And I guarantee if Tom Billington saw Leader in an even deeper pickle, he'd have come out, guns a blazing. And the terror's in Tom Billington. Coming in hot right now, Bobby Rossi. Here are Polish Hammers making a hat trick, a quadruple for better measure. Tom Billington is a Kalinin house. And right now, there's two DCMC guys in the ring, but Tom Billington came in fired up right now. And he gets a splash. And he, oh, no, wait a minute. Tucker's got something else in mind. Billington, who with a big boot to the jaw, creates a bit of separation. There's the crank killer. And Tom Billington is standing up right now. 
And he is fired up, Bobby Rossi. Tom Billington is firing on all cylinders. He has got that championship confidence cover here too. And we are one yeah. second away from having the losers retain the RWA Tag Champs. Tom Billington is really, he's the kind of guy that gets inside of his own head. I've watched him do it for the better part of the 12 years that I've known him. Right now, he is just so uninterrupted. He is quite arguably at his best. Oh, two count, a very dear two count. Everyone is freaking out, that should have been three. But Sean Leader standing up. He wants back in. He's getting fired up too, Bobby Rossi. I think there's a little bit of bias here on the side of the audience. Let's face it, losing has never looked as good as it did. Oh, hey, Tucker here. With a, oh. big, a big lethal combination. It sends Sean Leader to a very uncomfortable seat on that top buckle. The instincts have kicked in nonetheless. Oh! Could we be setting up for a double whammy? Slice bread hits its mark. Tucker off the ropes. Goes for a shining wizard attempt. A pair of super kicks. Cover. Deep hook of the leg. And Billington breaks up the count. And Jamie Tucker almost went for that pin. Now Bobby Rossi, Jamie Tucker is a one-time former RWA Tag Team Champion. His reign only lasted one month, but tonight, his first championship match with DCMC, this could change his career. It certainly could, and I know he wants to be considered amongst the top echelon of the talent pool here in the region. What a way to do so, and to claim championship gold of your own. Lung blower. Sean Leader up, right to the back with the double knees. I don't know, this could do it, Bobby Rossi. We could have this retaining chip. What the is hell this? Is what? this? What? Paulie what? Wood has just inserted himself into this matchup. He, I don't know, he must have been, he must have been surveying this from the other. Oh! Jason no. Devine behind the back of Manny Souza. He swung that championship title oh, like a Tom Louisville Bill slugger. Oh, come on. Tom Billington's not. No. 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 Like don't this. do it. No. And Bobby Rossi. This is Jamie Tucker's first championship with DCMC, but I don't think, I didn't think they were gonna do that to win it. I knew, I knew the whole whole time, coach. What are you talking about? I am completely guys, blown away. These guys are the thieves. They're, they're nothing short of thieves. They steal any opportunity that so much presents itself to them. They steal any freaking title shot. This is, this is larceny. This is grand larceny. But what blows my mind is, what, what happened with Hollywood? I'm not so sure. Hollywood's had some dealings with Frank Bones in the recent past, who's found himself at ringside. I, I don't know, I'm not quite sure what, ex, what is going on here. Oh, oh come no. on. Oh, that shirt doesn't say it. It does. You want to talk about opportunists. Grand larceny, and nothing short of it. You see the match that was promoted tonight? Yeah. Was yeah. you, yeah. Jamie Tucker. Me, the finest guy in the game. Sean Trulli. Yeah. You're 
Bob, Bobby Rossi, that's one thing about Frank Bones. He just became the Ocean State champion, but he is a fighting champion. He is always ready for a fight. And he's clearly taken the same offense that we've all taken to the action of the DCMC. The DCMC have run roughshod. They've caused chaos in just about every channel of the RWA. I admire the heart and the grit of Frank Bones, but what are you doing? You are you are sending yourself up for slaughter with every single one of those animals at ringside. And, and Bobby Rossi, this is two matches due to DCMC. Card subject to change. DCMC had a plan. Already brand new RWA Tag Team Champions. Bobby, could we have a new Ocean State Champion just like that? You very well could. You know, with the rest of the DCMC being at ringside, anything is possible. Now uh, look at this, Frank Bones firing on every cylinder. After he is tanked up, man, and he is throwing all of his arsenal. After seeing what happened with Bollywood, Frank Bones does not seem too happy. Well, I wouldn't be happy either, but I'd, I'd keep my head on a swivel. Oh, look at this, springboard action from the top rope with Mr. Temp. Ah, oh, he creates the bit of separation between he and Divine. Another springboard, no, what the world? Oh, this is the dirty games that we have talked about, Bobby Rossi from DCMC. Ever so cagey, Jason Devine with complete disregard for his adversary, just throwing him to this concrete floor. This floor's got no give to it, folks. Wow. Frank Bones just went flying there, but Jason Devine does not even care one bit. They have till the count it. Oh, come on. You see this, Bobby Rossi? Oh, I do. And my stomach's turning. By how this match is going, we didn't expect what happened to DCMC for them to win the Tag Team Champions. I don't know, Bobby. I think we might have a new Ocean State Champion. Frank Bones. Oh, wait a minute, I was gonna say, I've seen him in some, I've seen him in some pretty big jams, and I, I think he's still got a good amount of gas left in his tank to go. Oh, he looks to reverse that, but it, to no avail. Divine with the pin. Oh, just gets a two and a half per Manny Souza. And Jason Divine is somebody who is no stranger to the RWA. He has held multiple titles in the RWA, but one hasn't been the Ocean State Champion. And Frank Bones just won the Ocean State at the last champ show, so I don't know, Bobby. You can be a skeptic and you can be a doubter, my friend. Frank Bones has prevailed against all kinds of adversity. And these are the games that we talk about nonstop with DCMC, using their numbers to their advantage. Chancery hole by Jason Devine. He's got Bones cinched up right where he needs him. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? That was oh. a hangman suplex attempt, maybe, but Bones with quite the counter. Up and over. It looks as if he's found himself a second win. And Frank Bones is jazzed up, Bobby Rossi. This with that handstand back elbow. He hits it with precision. He's making it look easy. The new champ is back up. Beautifully this done. Do it. Cover here. Oh. Oh. Divine. Divine has gotten himself in one hell of a whirlwind. And Frank Bones is somebody who's always looking for a fight. He's not going to take it light. And he hasn't been. And Frank Bones back home. Oh, here we go, Bobby. Divine now finds himself in a chancery. 
Spun around. Oh, he's on the shoulders of Jason Devine. Ends up in one buckle. Falls back to his feet. Up to the air. Superman punch. Frank Bones. Inside cradle. And Bones is still our Ocean State champion. And Frank Bones won the title the last month, and this month he defended it against somebody who we weren't even expecting. And just like that, he has proved that he is a fighting champion. Frank Bones fears no man. He backs away from no challenge. And when he cashed in that Jeremy Bell, he did so with the intention of not just becoming the champion, but to retain and defend said championship. But Bobby, I still don't think our questions are answers of why Paulie would join DCMC. He helped them become the RWA Tag Team Champions, and he was this close to helping Jason Devine become the Ocean State Champ. Oh, you know, we, we've watched Paulie Wood get in the mind of Frank Bones and Greedy Bones. We've seen a lot of confrontation amidst that crowd. There's something about teams, there's something about having strength in numbers that clearly appeals to Paulie Wood. And I don't know what kind of deal has been struck between the DCMC and, and this scumbag, but I'll tell you, Frank Bones, Frank Bones can look himself in the mirror tonight. Frank Bones can rest his head easy knowing that he is every bit of the champion that he promised he would be. Big ups to the Ocean State Champion.